Hey YouTube, I'm just setting up a little free mill I made. I had some logs here in the backyard I cut down. I had this tree removed last year. Um, I told him to keep it about <clears throat> eight feet off the ground to let the ivy grow, but I decided to take these two off. And uh, I was gonna rip them up into boards. Decided to make myself a little free mill here. I need some longer bolts for it, but I just gotta pick those up at the hardware store. And I got a little handle there off a grinder, some blocks of wood. Um, and yeah, that's gonna cut me about a two inch, about two and an eight, two and a sixteenth um, slab. So I just ran it down that one deck board that I had there. I screwed it down nice and straight, level, no twist or anything. And yeah, just ran it. Just ran it down there the first time. Uh, pretty rough, but nice and flat. So now I'm just gonna be able to roll right off of that. And make these right into slabs. This is awesome. I literally just had that board lay in there and a couple bolts and it didn't cost me a dollar. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, just cut my first real slab off of there that I can make into a bench or whatever. Um, it was pretty slow going with a regular chain. Uh, quite a bit of pushing and pulling and prying and whatnot. And look at all that sawdust. I can see why people use a ripping chain for this because it just doesn't cut the same when it's going long ways down the grain. Um, well, let's see what we got here. Wow, that's actually gorgeous. Well, that looks amazing. Um, let's see a flatness here. Wow, I've never done this before, ever. Literally just watched a video on YouTube last night. Made me a mill uh, last night. Took me about 20 minutes, maybe less, 15. Um, and that's coming out fantastic. When I cut this next slab, that's gonna make a beautiful bench. A rot right there, but luckily, I'm probably gonna use the middle of this anyway. I need to end up with a ripping chain at some point. Um, but yeah, my next few slabs off of there are gonna look fantastic. And then this log here, it's even bigger. Tried making a new slab. Um, yeah, getting more and more into that really hard wood there in the center. Probably should sharpen my saw again after a couple slices, but so yeah, that was that slab was very slow going. We'll see. Wow. Okay. Pretty bumpy because I was prying that saw all around to get it to go, but that looks really, really nice and that. That rot doesn't really look bad. It doesn't go far up in there. Looks like I was getting right almost down the center there for a bit. Um, looks pretty dang good for a free mill.
So after doing the next slab, um, well, before I did this next slab, I should say, um, I sharpened my saw and I turned it more to like a 10 degree angle instead of like about a 15. And that helped a little bit, but the teeth are getting pretty small on that chain. So I'm just gonna have, to have a different chain at some point. But it went a little better and this is probably the hardest cut, right? Straight down the center, I assume. Parts of it went well, parts of it was pretty stiff, especially here at the end. Um, tried some wedges because I thought it might be pinching. They didn't really seem to make a difference. Um, but, I mean, they might have helped. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got it raised up a little bit, which was nice. Uh, it's starting to get pretty thin now, too. Uh, so low to the ground. But uh, let's see what we got here. Some pretty good bumps here at the end really really hard wood um, yeah this oak's been sitting around for about a year and a half almost since it was removed and uh, so it's pretty dry and you can see that grain that looks like yeah it looks like exactly the center of the old tree the old little sapling right there um, Old knots. Looks like somebody sawed that knot off a long time ago. Well, I got some bugs in there at some point. Oh, look, there's a worm right there. Whoa, wonder how he got in there. I didn't see any holes on the outside, but I mean, that gives it character. So, I think that looks fantastic for. Um, first time chainsaw mill, just handmade. Um, I mean, these slabs are, oh, I don't even know if I can lift it like that with one hand. I mean, these slabs are incredibly heavy, but uh, I'm starting to get a little tiny bit of a curve now that I've done so many. That one's got a tiny little bump to it at the end, but that's pretty straight for, you know, compared to freehand, that's pretty straight. And I've done a little bit of freehand in the past, but I've never tried it with a mill. Um, yeah, so I'm halfway through this one. It's looking really nice. So I got a couple of the slabs um, sitting up here on my sawhorses, nice and cleaned off. Um, they're looking pretty good. That rot's actually pretty bad. It's pretty soft right there. I'm gonna have to cut some of this off, probably somewhere in this area right here, I think. Um, and yeah, they're pretty bumpy, but they're gonna smooth down. And then they're, you know, smoothed out, clear coated. They're gonna look great. Uh, I'm really happy with it for a DIY, first time milling project. Yeah, I really like the grain once they're smoothed out, clear coated. They're gonna make a great bench. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to see a video on the bench build, um, you know, comment down below, tell me you want to see it. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this channel to a thousand subscribers. So if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. I plan, got big plans for this channel. I plan on doing woodworking, bushcraft, cabins, um, dugouts, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and yeah, if you guys like to see that sort of thing, make sure to subscribe. It really helped me out. And until next time, thank you very much. Bye.